Creating an air compressor locally involves several steps, including designing, sourcing materials, assembling components, and testing the final product. Below is a detailed guide for making a basic air compressor. How one, plan and design. Determine the purpose. Define the type of air compressor, e.g. reciprocating, rotary screw, or diaphragm, and its intended use, e.g. inflating tires, powering tools. Calculate specifications. Decide on the required pressure, PSI, flow rate, CFM, and tank capacity. Create a design. Sketch or use CAD software to outline the components and assembly. Cat 2. Source materials and components. Essential parts. Compressor pump. This compresses the air. For local manufacturing, you can use a piston or diaphragm mechanism. Electric motor or engine to drive the compressor pump. Air storage tank. Steel tanks with appropriate pressure ratings are ideal. Pressure switch to control when the motor turns on off based on pressure levels. Safety valve prevents overpressurization. Air filter to filter dust from incoming air. Hoses and fittings, high pressure, durable connections for air intake and output. Cooling mechanism, such as a fan for heat dissipation. Tools required, welding machine, drill, grinder, pipe threader, wrenches, and screwdrivers. Three, fabricate the components. Compressor pump, use a piston cylinder setup for a basic compressor. Machine parts locally or repurpose from old machinery. Tank preparation, procure or fabricate a cylindrical steel tank. Weld inlet outlet ports and install safety and drain valves. Frame and mounting. Build a sturdy metal frame to mount the motor, pump, and tank. Use rubber pads or mounts to reduce vibration. Four, assemble the compressor. Connect the motor and pump. Use a belt or direct coupling to connect the motor to the pump. Ensure proper alignment for smooth operation. Install the tank. Attach the tank to the frame and connect it to the pump using high pressure hoses. Add controls. Install the pressure switch, gauges, and safety valve on the tank. Wire the motor to the pressure switch and add an on-off control. Five, test the compressor. Initial testing, check for leaks by pressurizing the system with low pressure initially. Inspect all connections and welds. Performance testing, test the compressor at its maximum rated pressure. Ensure the safety valve and pressure switch operate correctly. Adjustments. Make any necessary adjustments to the motor belt tension or connections. Six, finish and finalize. Paint and label. Paint the frame and tank for durability and corrosion resistance. Add labels for safety and operating instructions. Install accessories. Attach additional components like quick couplers or air regulators as needed. Seven, maintenance plan. Train users on periodic maintenance, including draining moisture from the tank, replacing filters, inspecting belts, hoses, and valves. Notes, one, safety standards. Adhere to safety and quality standards, especially for pressure-rated components. Two, licensing. If producing commercially, ensure compliance with local manufacturing regulations. By following these steps, you can create a functional and efficient air compressor for local use. Let me know if you need more details on any specific step.